Okay, sample problem number one for sieve analysis. Let me read it first. A sieve analysis test was conducted on 650 grams of soil. The results are shown in the table below. And then determine the letter A, the amount of coarse grained and fine grained soils, and letter B, the amount of each soil type based on ASHTO and USCS standards. So this is the uh, given data. So sa first column natin ng ating table, we have the sieve number. And then for the second column, we have the mass retained for each sieves. So required letter A, as the problem has stated, uh, we are required to determine the amount of coarse grain and fine grain soils and letter B, amount of each soil type based on ASHTO and USCS standards. So solution. Uh, ang particle size analysis is solved using a tabular format. So let's draw a table to solve this problem. Okay, so for column A, we have the sieve number and column B, we have the mass retained. And then uh, if we're going to sum up all the masses retained in each sieve, that would be 649.6 grams. So as you can see, yung 649.6 grams is medyo kulang siya compared sa initial dry mass ng soil na ginamit. So that means that merong nawala na around 0.4 gram sa ating test uh, experiment. That's normal because we that 0.4 gram maybe ano ka nang na disperse ba siya sa air or namilit siya dito sa sa other area ng sieve or dito sa taklob sa sieve or wala takabalo. What is important is that uh, the 0.4 gram is too small to be ano siya ka na, to be considered as uh, significant. In fact, ang significant na discrepancy sa initial soil test tapos ang result dapat ang difference nila is around 3% lang. So, ang 3% ng 650 grams is around uh, pilaba. Mga 18, 18, 19, 19 grams. So, masyadong maliit yung 0.4 grams. Okay? So, for the third column, we, we will um, generate a column for percent retained. So, to compute the percent retained, we have the formula mass of soil retained on a sieve divided by total mass of soil collected after sieving. So, that's basically equal to, let's say, sa 3.8 inch na sieve. So, zero ang mass retained divided by total mass. So, ito ang gagamitin natin ha, hindi yung 650 grams. So, zero divided by 649.6 times 100%, that would be 0%. And then for sieve number four, uh, 53 grams divided by 649.6 grams times 100%. So, that's equal to 8.159%. Then for sieve number 10, 76 grams divided by 649.6, that would be 11.24 hanggang matapos natin up to the pan. Okay? So, pag i-total natin yan siya lahat, itong percent retained, so that should be equal to 100%. Okay? Next, column D. So, ang column D natin, or the fourth column, will be the percent retained na cumulative. So, to compute that one, we use the formula sum of percent retained on coarser sieves. Or, that's equal to, let's say, for sieve number 3 eighths inch, zero lang siya kasi wala man siyang coarser sieve. Kasi siya man ang first coarse sieve. Diba? So, zero percent. So, uh, sa sieve number 4, we have 8.159% plus the coarser sieve, katong naasa taas niya, so 8.159 plus 0%, so that's equal to 8.159. And then, sa sieve number 10, that's equal to 11.7 plus 
0.159, so that's equal to 19.86. And then for sieve number 20, that's equal to 19.26 plus 11.24, 31.10%. Then for sieve number 40, so 31.10% plus 21.86%. 52.96. So, dapat ang nasa pan na percent cumulative retain should be 100%. Okay? And then, for the fifth uh, column, yung percent passing or percent finer. So, to compute that one, we use the formula 100% minus percent retained cumulative or 100% minus column D. Okay, so 100 minus 0 for sieve number 38 is 100%. Then for sieve number 4, 100 minus 8.159, so that's equal to 91.84%. And then for sieve number 10, 100 minus 19.86, that's 80.14. Until sa pan, 100 minus 100 is 0%. So, once na meron na tayong result for the percent passing or percent finer, we are, we're, we are now ready to compute for the amount of coarse grain and fine grain soils. So, remember from the study notes that I have provided to you, na yung uh, nag-distinguish nag sa fine grain soil and coarse grain soil is only yung sieve number 200. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, lahat ng mga na-retain sa sieve number 200 or yung particle size diameter or sieve opening is 0 0.075 mm, makonsider yan siya as coarse grain. And lahat ng nag-pass through sa number 200 are considered as clay or silts or fine grain soils. Okay? So, uh, ideally, sa ato ang uh, mechanical sieving, yung nasa pinakataas is yung ano uh, pinaka coarse na na sieve tapos yung pinakababa is yun yung pinaka fine na sieve in fact the finest sieve is that the finest sieve that we have is the sieve number 200 and yun yung sinasabi natin na lahat ng nagretain sa number 200 so ito siya nagretain sa mga sieve na yan are considered as coarse grain soil and then lahat na nag-pass through sa sieve number 200 will be considered as the fine grain soils okay so that means that to determine the amount of coarse grain soils so we have now to we, we now compute the percent of coarse grain soil by the formula 100% minus percent passing sieve number 200. Kasi yung percent na nag-pass through sa sieve number 200, yun yun sila ang mga coarse, uh, mga fine grain soil. Okay? So, 100% minus 15.36% is equal to 84.64%. And then, the amount of fine grain soil will now be yung percent na nag-pass through sa sieve number 200, which is equal to 15.36%. Okay? Pag i-sum up natin yan siya, 84.64% plus 15.36%, that would be equal to 100%. So, next... As per ashto, so iba-iba ang definition ng ano no, uh, ng, ng isang standards sa uh, other standards. So, as per ashto standards, ang ang percent ng gravel daw is yung mga percentage na nagretain sa number 10. Okay? So, ano ba yung percentage na nagretain sa number 10? So, if we assume that this is 1, 2, 3, ito yung number 10 na sieve. So, lahat ng mga nagretain sa number 10, so, yung nagretain sa number 4 and nagretain sa number 3, 8, yun sila ang mga gravel. And lahat ng nag-pass through sa number 10, so, so, mas maliit pa sila sa number 10, 
we can say that these are either sand or silt and clay. Okay, so to compute for the percent of gravel, so ang kailangan natin i gamitin na formula is 100% minus percent na nag-pass through sa number 10. Okay, so ang nag-pass through sa number 10 is 80.14%. So 100 minus 80.14% is equal to 80.14%. Now, for the percent of sand, according to Ashto pa rin, so according to Ashto, ang sand daw is yung mga nag-pass through sa number 10 or 2mm na sieve and then nag-retain sa number 200. So if we say that this is number 10, ito yung number 200, so lahat ng soil na nandito are considered as sand. Okay, so that means that the percentage of sand are those percent passing number 10. Okay, pero hindi lahat ng nag-pass through sa number 10 is nag-pass through sa number 200. Okay, so ima-minus natin yung, yung mga particle na nag-pass through sa number 200 kasi yung, yung nag-pass through sa number 200 are those particles na considered as fine-grained soils or silt and clay. So that means that the percent of sand is equal to percent passing number 10 minus percent passing number 200. So that's equal to 80.14% uh, minus 15.36%. Okay, so that's equal to 64.78%. Now, the percent of fines will now be equal to the percent passing number 200 kasi sila yung mga fine particles or yung mas maliit pa sa number 200. So, that's equal to 15.36%. If we sum up 19.86% plus 64.78% plus 15.36%, that should be equal to 100%. Okay, so as per USCS standards naman, so iba ang definition niya. Si USCS, according to that standard, ang gravel daw is yung mga particle na larger than 4.75 mm pero less than 76.2 mm. Okay, so ang nagkaiba lang is that sa ashto, 2 mm ang kanyang kumbaga, limit tapos sa USCS, 4.75 Okay, so ganun pa rin ang approach natin. Ang percent of the gravel is yung mga percent na nag-retain sa number 4 or yung number 4 is yung sieve opening niya is 4.75 mm. Okay, so that's equal to 100% minus percent passing number 4 or 100% minus 91.84%. So that's equal to 8.16%. Percent of sand, same pa rin ang approach sa ashto. Yung, yung yun ang nag-pass through sa number 4, pero hindi lahat ng nag-pass through sa number 4 is nag-retain sa number 200. So, i-minus natin yung nag-pass through sa number 200 kasi yun lang sila ang makonsider natin as sand. Or yung mga nag-retain nag, nag sa number 4, number 10, number 20, number 40, number 100, up to number 200, yun sila ang mga sand. Or mathematically, that's equal to percent passing number 4 minus percent passing number 200. So that's equal to 76.48%. Then lastly, the percent of fines will now be equal to percent passing number 200, which is equal to 15.36%. If we sum up the three uh, proportion ng particles, so 8.16 plus 76.48 plus 15.36%, that should be equal to 100%.